The great apes, a group of primates that includes gorillas, chimpanzees, and orangutans, are known for their intelligence, social complexity, and close genetic relationship to humans. Gorillas inhabit the tropical forests of equatorial Africa. Gorillas are primarily herbivores. Their diet consists mainly of leaves, stems, bamboo shoots, and fruits. They are the largest of the great apes, with males reaching impressive sizes and weighing up to 500 pounds. They live in social groups led by a dominant silverback male. Chimpanzees are found in the tropical forests and savannas of equatorial Africa. Chimpanzees are omnivores. Their diet is diverse, including fruits, leaves, insects, and even small mammals. They are also known for their tool use, such as using sticks to extract termites. They are highly intelligent and social animals, living in complex communities. They share a very close genetic relationship with humans. Orangutans are found exclusively in the rainforests of the islands of Borneo and Sumatra in Southeast Asia. Orangutans are primarily frugivores, meaning their diet mainly consists of fruits. They also eat leaves, bark, insects, and occasionally eggs. They are known for their reddish-orange fur and their semi-solitary nature. They are arboreal, spending most of their time in the trees. Structural analysis of ape and human DNA reveals that chimps are out closest relatives, followed by gorillas, and lastly followed by orangutans, who are most structurally different from us. These structural differences in DNA are the reason humans and great apes cannot interbreed. However, this video is not about the structural differences between humans and apes, but rather our similarities and traits the apes have that some humans also possess. I have already made videos in the past featuring FST statistics generated by admixtols which demonstrate the closest human ethnicities to apes by genotype similarity. In this video, I decided to show F2 statistics instead, which in some ways contradict the FST statistics shown prior. One major positive of F2 statistics relative to FST is that the values never max out at 1, which allows for greater nuance in distinguishing distantly related populations. Anyway, here is the F2 table I generated with at 1, here we see the closest human ethnicities to all three great apes are various African groups, such as the Komani and Beauty Pygmies, and the furthest are East Asians, Native Americans, and Australians. For this video, I gathered the genomes of a gorilla, an orangutan, and a chimpanzee, and analyzed them with my trait predictor tool to find common genotypes and traits. Gorillas, orangutans, and chimpanzees have certain traits in common. Let's discuss them. One commonality I noticed is that all great apes are homozygous carriers of A1 alleles in DRD2's TAC1 variation. This might not say much to you on its own, but let me explain what this variation does. This is one of the most impactful genetic regions on D2 dopamine receptor density, with each A1 allele reducing the availability of D2 receptors by 20%. This leads to much higher odds of ADHD and greatly reduced odds of schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. Interestingly, most humans carry two A2 variants, with the A1 variant being rarely found. Perhaps this is the reason humans are much more likely to develop schizophrenia than our great ape cousins? Additionally, all great apes are homozygous for the VAL alleles in COMPS VAL slash MET variation. The VAL variant leads to lower dopamine levels and higher activity of the COMT enzyme. The VAL variant is also the most common variant among humans, with the exception of Europeans, who carry the MET variant at a higher rate. The great apes have lower dopamine levels, and thus better stress resilience, and poorer intellectual performance in non-stressful situations. Regarding OXTR genotypes, surprisingly all great apes are predisposed to a higher level of empathy. Yes, even the notoriously cruel and aggressive chimps carry variants associated with higher empathy in humans. Perhaps the chimps have some other gene that contributes to their violent behavior. Moving on to the MHFR gene, the apes are surprisingly healthy, carrying homozygous genotypes for lower homocysteine level. This surprised me personally, because apes in captivity often die from heart attacks and strokes. Regarding their HLA genotypes, the great apes are also very healthy, carrying no pathogenic variants. I might be making a big stretch here, but to me it seems that autoimmune diseases are a uniquely human trait. 
Why do you think humans evolved and selected for these pathogenic HLA variants? They are especially common in Europeans, who also have the highest rates of such conditions as multiple sclerosis, type 1 diabetes, and rheumatoid arthritis. Additionally, perhaps surprising to some, all great apes carry risk variants for colorblindness in the OPN1SW gene, but not the OPN1LW or OPN1MW genes. The way apes see color might be similar to humans who carry risk variants for colorblindness in the OPN1SW gene. Additionally, all great apes carry two copies of hunter-gatherer CLTCL1 gene variant, which predisposes them to an ability to better process proteins and fats, and struggles with processing carbohydrate-rich foods as well as sugars. Regarding blood types, all gorillas carry the B blood group and are also predicted to have B blood group with my trait predictor. The chimps also all carry risk variants for Alzheimer's in the APO gene, which predisposes humans to much higher odds of Alzheimer's. Do the chimps also develop Alzheimer's as a consequence of this genotype? Or do they perhaps have some protective variants in other genes that shield them from this condition? If you carry those genotypes, you might be more similar to apes than you previously thought. Leave your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like and share.